Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's go shopping at the store by Mr. Vapor Water Handle. Double light bridges, difficulty easy medium, a short and somewhat simple spatial reasoning slash logic puzzle. This map uses matter inquisition fields. If you don't know what those do, you'll find out by playing. The moves in the crux of this puzzle were part of my Not Contest number 5 map. I wanted to incorporate another move and string it together with this, except I couldn't find a nice and clean way to do it in the limited time I had. When I saw Gig's dimensionality, I thought, oh man, he did that map. That move, you'll know the one, which involves floor portable surfaces, has a place now, which is nice. I still like the other idea I had, so I stripped everything else out. Reflecting on it, it is more of a variation of concepts that already exist in community maps, but I think it's still somewhat neat. I still have some unique gel concepts and setups that I want to work on for a mo more full-blown map, but it'll be complicated, so if or when that is going to happen, it'll take a while. Alright, well, I try not to worry too much about originality in maps, because... I mean, you're basically stringing together stuff that's already been done, but just in a different order and combination. And, uh, that's the whole point, really. Coming up with new stuff, the time through that is just about over, basically. Oops, I fell off. But anyway, I digress. Interesting. This button goes to... that Matter Inquisition field. Gotcha. This drops that cube. And I'm guessing it doesn't auto-respawn, right? It most assuredly does not. There is a portal surface over there, which we're gonna want to work on... using, I suppose. So how might we go about doing this? Well, I have a few ideas. But only a few. Hmm. So we can hop down here, right? And I think that's intentionally too far for us to make the jump. Alright, well, I didn't have to do that anyway, I was just curious. Oh, that's graded. Interesting. How do I get back up there, actually? Now that I've fallen down. Oh, I can- I can walk underneath here. I gotcha. I gotcha! There we go. So let's walk over here. Do that. And now the issue is we can't actually get up to here anymore when we do that. Unless... we do this. Ta-da! It's like magic. And we can walk over here. Press the button, and we've got ourselves a bona fide regular cube. That's something worth saving over, right? Right. Let's go put the cube on this button and see what that gets for us. Interesting. How does that help us? At the end of the day, we want the cube over there, right? That seems reasonable enough, right? Where? What turns... Oh, that does. Ooh, okay. So we'll want to place our portal here first... ...before doing anything like that. So I guess that means... ...we might want to suspend the cube, perhaps? Hmm... We can do this. Not a good way to get the cube from here, though. So let's just try this out for- for starters. Oops, come on. So I think that should be... oops, sufficient-ish. Let's move this a little more in that direction, there we go. Not that much, though. There we go, that should be fine-ish. So now the problem is... How do we get up there and do that? Because we need to be up here in order to walk across to the exit. Hmm... We're certainly not gonna jump our way up into that. I mean, that might work, but I'm pretty sure it's not intended. Hmm. 
Hm. Very interesting. Spawn the cube when we're up there, but I don't think that's helpful. And we can't make our way up here first and then move the cube onto the button because that's a graded portal surface. And once we're up here, there's, there's nothing we can do but go back. So the cube does have to fall onto the button like that, basically. That's all fine and dandy. That's a thing that can be done, and it is not the least bit helpful. <laughs> We're not supposed to ninja move in any particular way by, like, getting- shooting a portal going through here and then quickly shooting a portal there before the cube lands on the button. That would be very much unintended. This scissor never turns off. Hmm. Let's go back to when we had the cube on the button, perhaps. Anything useful we can do with this? Because it doesn't seem like it, honestly. Is this intentional that this doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling? Doesn't it look like we could smuggle a cube across here? Hmm... That is suspicious. Why is this block here? Just for the light? Hmm... We can be up here with the queue, but then we can't do anything else, really. Yeah, we can't do that. We can do this, and that's about it. Yep, we can put the cube there, and that's it. Can't do anything else. <laughs>
and I can't see any portal surfaces while I'm standing on this button that would help me. Mm-hmm. Now I've done it. Get over here. If I can do this... Is there anything I might want to do from here? While I'm here. Maybe, because I can actually go in this direction and change which portal surface I'm using, perhaps. That might be part of it. over here, we can do this. Walk all the way back. We can do... this. I can put the cube here. Right? But then what? <laughs> then- then what do I do? Did I just solve it? Did I- did I do it already? I might have done it already. I think- I think that was all I needed to do, was just to have the portal up here, right? Yeah. Well... I think I did it. Here goes nothing. Hooray! That was really clever. I really enjoyed that. Great work. Great work. Great puzzle. Right. Let's get out of here. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!